In this video I'll be showing you the Hot Queue feature on the CDJ2000 Nexus. This includes Hot Queues, Hot Queue Banks and the new Auto Load feature. Hot Queues can be used to jump to any part within your track and Hot Queue Banks can be used to jump to any part in any track within your record box library. The Auto Load feature allows you to automatically load those Hot Queues once you load a track onto a CDJ. This is great for sort of doing live re-edits or just jumping to different parts of the track like skipping breakdowns and jumping straight through to drops. So. As you can see, we've got three hot cue buttons, A, B, and C, and then we've got a record and call button. To create a hot cue, simply tap the button so all these illuminate red, that means you're in record mode. As we've got a track playing, you can just simply hit the hot cue button, or you can manually skip to the part you want. So we'll hit hot cue A, and that sets a hot cue point there. We'll then press the record button again, and the hot cues will then change to green, and then they're ready to use. Simply hit the hot cue button, and it will jump straight to that point in the track. So same with the other ones, just skip straight through. When using hot cues, you can jump to different points within that track. You can set up to three hot cues per track, and you can use it to be sort of creative by jumping straight to a breakdown or a drop, or you can just repeatedly stab in different vocal or drum hits. Hot cues can't be deleted, but they can be recorded over. So currently we can jump straight to these hot cue points here. If you want to record a new one, say for example, you want to replace A, just simply hit the record button, and where you're ready, just hit the button again. And then the hot cues are now active with the new replaced hot cues instead. When using hot cues, there's a couple of things you need to bear in mind. If using a USB device or an SD card, when you set the hot cues, they'll be saved automatically. If using a CD, you need to have a further memory device attached so they'll save the hot cues. Otherwise, each time you change the CD, you'll lose each hot cue set. You can also set a loop point as a hot cue, so every time you hit the hot cue button, it will jump straight to that point and instantly loop it. So to set that, what we'll do is we'll hit record, we'll then set a loop as normal, so we've got a loop, and then we'll just hit one of the cues to record it. Obviously it'll flash to say it's recorded it. We'll then hit the call button again, and as you can see it's now illuminated orange, so that means it's a hot cue loop. So if we come out of this, just to demonstrate, jump to a different hot cue point we've previously set, I then jump back to the hot cue loop, and it's automatically looping. Once you're in a hot cue loop, all of the loop features uh, act as normal. So for example, we can, we can sort of shorten or extend the loop amount. And we can adjust the exit there as well, and I just simply exit the loop, hit the exit button, and the track will resume as normal. Hot cues can also be set within record box. Simply double click a track to load it into the player. Get to the part you want and then click on the hotkey buttons to set it. When re-exporting the track, this will export the hotkey information to it. You can also create hotkey loops within Recordbox. Simply create a loop exactly where you want it, then press A, B or C to set the hotkey loop. So it's exactly the same as it's done on the CDJ. Again, re-export the track to save the hotkey settings to your memory device. You can connect your Recordbox library to your CDJs via link. When you send tracks across to your CDJ, all hot cue information will go across with it too. If you make changes to the hot cue information on the CDJ, it will automatically apply back in the Recordbox library. If you set hot cue information on a USB stick on a CDJ, you can then connect your USB stick to the Recordbox library, right click and click update collection. This will re-import all the hot cue information set. When changing tracks on the CDJ, you need to call in the hot cues in the current track playing. I've got this track playing here with the three hot cues we've previously set. So, as you can see, they're working fine. When we load in a new track, there's three hot cues here, A, B, and C. But if we press one of these hot cue buttons, it's jumping back into the previous track. So we need to recall the hot cues on the new track. Simply just hold down the call button until you see it flash here. Then they've loaded. And we can then just quickly press them to jump to it to make sure they're loaded correctly. So now when we press them, they're now going to work fine. The final part of the hot cues is the hot cue banks. This allows you to set up three hot cues which can jump to any part of any track within your record box library. To use the hot cue bank feature, you have to use a USB memory device or SD card, or use the link feature. To set up the hot cue banks, click on the hot cue bank button. Click the plus to add a new one and then name it. Load a track to the player and then click on the hot cue bank again. Get to the part of the track you want and then click on A, B or C to set that point. You can do this with up to two more tracks. Right click on the bank and then click export to device. 
You can now load it in the player by clicking on USB and then scroll to Hotkey Banks and then select the correct one. Once the Hotkey Bank is loaded, then you can load in another track and the Hotkey Bank will remain. If used with the slip function, you can stab in parts of another track into the track playing. Hot cues can be used to add excitement to your sets. You could use hot cue points or loops to create live re-edits, or you could use hot cue banks to jump to different parts of any track, which could be, of course, a sample, an acapella, or a DJ tool. To make sure when you load a track, you also get that current track's hot cues, we've now added a new feature called Auto Load. This will auto load the hot cues set to that track. In Record Box, select the tracks you want the auto load feature to apply to. This could be individual tracks or, of course, the whole collection. Click on Info and then click the Info tab on the right. Click Allow Auto Load Hot Cue on CDJ. Depending on how many tracks you have selected, this may take a moment. Once you've done that, re export the selected tracks to save your changes to the devices.